O, sabi mga kababayan ni Atorni Cristina Conte, sino ay niyan, Mr. Maravillas? Yung assistant counsel po ng International Criminal Court, ICC, si Maudix Dao, is likely to be summoned or even ano, ordered arrested ng ICC at based sa mga information mga gababayan na nare-receive po ni Atty. Cristina Conte, malapit na daw. Malapit na. <laughs> Ikaw naman na niya, Mr. Maravillas. Yan ang sabi po ni Atty. Conte na interview po ni Karen ano, Davila sa ANC. Yan ang sabi niya kahapon po. Malamangan niya, Mr. Maravillas. Maguramin tayo na naman. <laughs> Mag-amok na si, si Maudix niya. Kaya nga po, disidido talaga. To destabilize. At uh, ilok-lok po si Inday. Pag si Inday po yung naging Pangulo, barkada ng China, hindi yan niya magkaka, no? Hindi magkakaporma rito sa Pilipinas. Yung International Criminal Court Kasi siyempre, kontrolado nila yung uh, gobyerno Yan nga pa mga kababayan ang uh, nasa likod nito mga ugong-ugong na destabilization And uh, yun din ang rason kung bakit si Senator Butas <laughs> Kahit walang kakwenta-kwenta po yung isyu ng uh, PDA leaks Nagsagawa siya ng investigation Moto propio <laughs> investigation na ang sabi ni Big Subiri baka niya magamit sa ano, political uh, persecution sabi naman ni Trillanes sa kanila rigadon it is niya to create destabilization sa Marcos administration <laughs> yun ang reading po yes iba to ngayon na mimiligrong palitan as chairman committee on uh, public order and dangerous drugs kaya nagmamakaawa siya sa ganyang mga kasama bigyan naman anya ninyo ako ng pagkakataon dito <laughs> pagkakataon ano <laughs> sabi ni Larry Gadon nga dapat anya yung gastos mo dyan sa investigasyon ibawa sa sweldo mo <laughs> sayang ng gastos diyan anya ito Mr. Marabilias na sabi mong balita na malamang sa malamang Isa mo na or uh, ordered to be arrested ng ICC si uh, Maudigs. Yan po yung sabi ni Atty. Conti, uh, Christina Conti, ICC Assistant to Council, uh, National Union of People's Lawyers, NUPL. Sabi niya, Atty. Conti believes Duterte likely to be summoned, even ordered arrested by ICC. Sa kabagaan niya, Mr. Maravillas. Eh, talaga po. Kasi sabi nga natin, many times, ang lahat ng problema nito, uh, resulta ng kanyang mga ginawa. So, kailangan panagutan niya, mga kababayan, yung kanyang mga ginawa. Pakinggan natin yung interview, mga kababayan, yung audio lang po, ni Karin Davila ng ANC. Ayan po, mga kababayan, pakinggan po ninyo. You, you said, and you can correct this, you said you were pretty sure. Did you use those words? You were pretty sure that former President Duterte, and this is in quote, will be considered as one of the most responsible for the war on drugs during his administration. When you say pretty sure, do you believe an arrest warrant will be issued against him? What is the state of the investigation today? Well, right now, the investigation is at that point where it is determining who is most responsible. That's the question that has to be established. Um, we've already established during the preliminary examination that crimes against humanity occur in the Philippines. The Philippine government said, oh, maybe uh, you forgo the investigation, defer it, because we will investigate. Uh, later on, the ICC says, what kind of investigation are you doing? You're doing 52 cases? Ah, we'll step in again. And so it started technically in yeah, September yeah. 2021, reapproved again in January 2022, 2023. And it's been too long. So I think at this point, they have uh, their finger on things already. And the name of President Duterte has been uh, there in the OTP, in the Office of the Prosecutor Documents, since uh, June 2021. He's been named as someone who was enabled, at the least, tolerated. 
-hmm. And so it's not just me who's saying that uh, President Duterte will likely be looked into. At the minimum, there would be someone's issue, someone's meaning. Please come and cooperate with the court. Uh, but at the maximum, I think really uh, there will be a warrant of arrest. And uh, there will be a warrant of arrest, mga kababayan, sabi ni Atty. Conte. And when do you believe will the warrant of arrest be issued? Uh, that's the thing. Uh, actually, the process right now is confidential. The investigation itself is confidential unless you are the one who's being talked to. Huh? So that's why I think some of so, these officials... Secret muna, mga kababayan, baga po bigla na lang po sasab. <laughs> She go. Might have the audacity to talk about, to confirm things from the ICC. But then, okay. um, even the application for a warrant of arrest is under seal. It's confidential. The application for the warrant of arrest now is under seal. It is confidential, sabi ni Atorne, Atorne Conte. And as I have discussed in some other uh, interviews, no news is good, is good news in a sense, with regard to warrants of arrest. Because if they announce the warrant of arrest, it it it, it says that maybe there's no chance that this uh, warrant will be served. As in the mm -hmm. case of the president... So uh, are, are you saying that it's possible that there's a warrant that will be issued but they won't announce it? And then you can have members of the... Hindi nito makatulog, mga kababayan. Yung... Uh, uh, Pamilya Duterte, pati si Bato nito. Lalo ano niya, Mr. Maravillas mapapraning. Mismo, ganun ang uh, mangyayari po. CC in the country and just arrest him. Ah, so one, um, it's not just possible, it is the rule that a warrant of arrest is issued confidential, secret warrant okay. of arrest. It's only announced in certain instances when the court approves it as in the case of President Putin, when there was no chance of him being arrested. So a secret, quote-unquote, warrant of arrest has to be coursed to, to uh, members of the ICC. Mm -hmm. And this is where it could become public. So if the members of the court uh, receive this warrant of arrest, if the Interpol, with whom the ICC has a cooperation agreement, receives a warrant of arrest and issues a red notice, then perhaps it becomes public. But from my understanding, the ICC, as much as possible, reaches out to the country where the accused is a, is at and, and asks the police, the local police, to execute the warrant. It will not be ICC officials um, executing the warrant. The ICC has no police. It depends on the police forces of its member organizations. Okay, so just an update on the ICC. You can correct me on this. As of the the one I have here is as of June 2018, it has issued public arrest warrants for 42 individuals, right? I'm sure, thereabouts. is that still the number? Thereabouts? I think so, thereabouts. Because there were two um, warrants issued two months ago, I think, against two Russian okay. officials. Okay, now six of the individuals are already in custody of the court. So yes. of those issued, you have six that's actually been arrested and they're in The Hague right now. So can, just very quickly, can you give me an instance of at least one of those who were successfully arrested? Were they arrested in their own countries or were they traveling and um, there was no more jurisdiction of the country and that's when they were arrested? Um those as that you mentioned that has happened um, and this is not only in the case of the ICC in other international uh, tribunals or courts um, there was one was arrested in another country he was president of his own country traveled to oh, another what country. was that was he vacationing I, I think he sought asylum this all right morning. okay so he sought asylum and despite seeking asylum he was arrested in that country where he was yes. granted asylum Yes, because things okay. can change. In okay. another African situation, um, the elections turned the other way. And so they, the, the, this accused was um, not protected anymore by the ruling party. Mm -hmm. And as such, he was surrendered actually by the, by the uh, country. Uh, I'm just not sure about his name, but this was in Sudan, if I recall. Okay, so what uh, happens 
uh, attorney, I don't mean to cut you, but we don't have enough time. What happens now? President Marcos Jr. has repeatedly said that one, well, we're no longer a member of the ICC. Do they still jur have jurn, even if we're not a member to arrest uh, who they believe to be a suspect, a, a, a leader uh, they suspect of being guilty, even if the country is not a member, still do that? As to investigation, the ICC has jurisdiction yeah. over the situation. But yeah. as to arrest, uh, it will really have to be the local police to execute that uh, one of the arrest. If you're no longer a member. If you're no longer a member. But that's a uh -oh. question, actually, that's interesting. It's that, very good uh, that we're discussing the process. Because this is where it gets very uh, no confusing. So if you are no longer a member, which we are not, the Philippines is not. If the ICC issues a warrant, it's the local police who has to implement the warrant. And for them to a warrant, is it right to say the president has to order the police to cooperate and implement the warrant? If President yeah. Marcos Jr. refuses, then stalemate. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah, essentially that's it. Unless, and this is an option, we can move to confirmation of charges if comes in and represents these accused. Instead of the accused being in custody, they would voluntarily submit in one sense uh, and question maybe jurisdictional issues before the court. That's one option. And I yeah, no heard about a few of them engaging the services who is ICC accredited. Mm -hmm. um, as to this um, arrest, uh, we've always uh, maintained that yes, it is a matter of political will. But we appeal on the dating union cooperation that is required under Article 127 of the Rome Statute. Under the agreement that we signed before, uh, it says that even after you have exited, even after uh, withdrawn from the ICC, you have continuing obligations. And if the president reads the briefer, a fair and thorough briefer supplied by the DOJ, then I would suppose he would come to the conclusion that yes, we still have that obligation. This is interesting because the Philippines is only, I guess, I think two of uh, or two, two, the second country to have withdrawn from the ICC. So this is actually no territory for even the court itself. No. What are the but obligations then, I mean, just, of withdrawn countries? Yeah, but then why should, I mean, the problem with the situation is the United States, one of the founding members of the ICC, I believe they were, they're not even a member right they were exactly initially exactly moved out when the crimes against aggression was put into the charter oh, oh okay so but just to move on just my last question is there uh, in another article at the manila times uh it said that this was a may 13 article uh it says that former president duterte is actually not named in any of the ICC investigation. And uh, I think it's important to say right now, just factually speaking, that this is false, right? Yes. He is named, specifically named. So this isn't a, this isn't a, an idea of possibly si Duterte. No, he is, he is in the ICC documents. Yes, Karen, he is in the ICC documents from the a report of the Office of the Prosecutor on the preliminary examination in the request for investigation has been named. And, um, it's inescapable that he will have to be in these documents because the materials that are available to the court, especially those who are which are reliable information, um, that's how they start. Right? They start from reliable information. So really, the article mixes some true things, but um, some false things. Uh -oh. So let's look at that. So former President Duterte is named in the ICC documents. Is Senator Ronald de Bato de la Rosa named? Yes, as well as Albayalde. Um, this okay. is Pati pala si Abayalde po. General Abayalde, yung PNP, ano, uh, Director General uh, noong panahon ni Mao Diggs. The covered, um, covers also their terms. So uh -oh. we left the ICC March 2019. I think Al Bayalde was the chief of... Uh, okay, so just for the record, there are three names officially mentioned in the documents. Duterte, De La Rosa, and Al Bayalde. Is that correct? Yes, and the ICC wants to look more into more mid-level police officers. And they've identified directors 
of uh, well the PDEA, probably the drug agencies. Okay, and you haven't seen these? You haven't seen those documents, those names? Well, the names are in the report of the OTP, which is uh, publicly available. But okay. the actual, like the investigation documents, uh, those are under seal as yet. Uh, we expect these to be or to be submitted before the court sooner rather than later, hopefully within the year. All right, on that note, I want to thank. So, yun mga kababayan, talagang namumurunan niya Mr. Marabilias, yung uh, dating Pangulong uh, Digong. So, exciting po ang mga susunod na araw with this uh, latest na balita in relation mga kababayan sa status nitong ICC case uh, filed laban po kay Maudigs and uh, other officials. Uh, kasama po dito si Bato, pati nga po si, si Inday. Kasi pati yung ano yung uh, panahon ng mayor pa si Inday uh, sa Dabao kasama yon sa pinaimbestigan po sa International Criminal Court or ICC. Isa e nga po ni dating senador Antonio Trillanes, yung ICC warrant po versus Duterte expected by June. Sabi ni Trillanes, at di niya anya pwedeng gayahin si Kibuloy. Sabi dito sa balita ng uh, Politico News noong May 9, Trillanes expects Rodi Duterte to flee Philippines once ICC arrest warrant out. At once anya, uh, hinuli ng ICC, itong si Digong, yung politika niya ng mga Duterte will just crumble. Kasi umaasa lang itong kanyang mga anak sa diskarte ng uh, matanda, sabi po ni Trillanes. <laughs> Ganon. Ayan man lang po ang mga developments ng uh, balitang yan galing po sa interview ni Karen Davila ng ANC. Ako po si Dante Maravillas. Babay po. God bless.